In this question, water initially at 300 kilopascals and 0.5 meters cubed per kilogram is contained in a piston cylinder device fitted with stops so that the water supports the weight of the piston and the force of the atmosphere. The water is heated until it reaches the saturated vapor state and that the piston rests again against the stops. With the piston against the stops, the water is further heated until the pressure is 600 kilopascals. On the PV and TV diagram sketch, with respect to the saturation lines, the process curves process, passing through both the initial and final states of water. Label the states on the process as 1, 2, and 3 on both the PV and TV diagrams. Sketch the isothermals passing through the states and show their values in C uh, degrees Celsius on the isotherms. So with part A, you know that the pressure is 300 kilopascals and that the, the absolute volume is 0.5 meters cubes per kilogram. So if you look in the, the table for water, you find that under the 300 kilopascals that the temperature is 133.52 degrees Celsius. So from there to solve for the specific volume, you take Vf plus X Vfg where X is the quality of the water. So you have 0.5 meters cubed per kilogram equals 0 0.001073 meters cubed per kilogram plus X times 0 0.60475 meters per kilogram. So then what you do is you subtract the 0 0.001073 from the 0.5 and then divide it by the 0.60475 to get the saturation level, which is 0.825. The next thing you have to solve for is when the water is just completely saturated vapor, or when x equals 1. So V would be Vg, or 0.60582. And then next what you do is, uh, the pressure now equals 600 kilopascals. So, and then also, the specific volume equals 0 0.60582 meters cubed per kilogram. So to solve for the temperature, you subtract the 0 0.60582 minus 0 0.592, which is the saturation le level of water. And then you divide that by 0 0.66975 minus the same 0 0.592. Next, you multiply that by 600 minus 500 or what would be, the, since you're trying to find the exact temperature, but all you know is that it's between 600 and 500 from the saturated vapor. And then you add 500, so then you know what the starting value is. And when you plug that all in, you get a temperature of 517.773 degrees Celsius. Okay, so for the PV diagram, it starts off where you have one, which is underneath the curve, and it is at a uh, mix, saturated mixture at 0.8 quality. And then afterwards, the specific volume increases, so that's where the 0.2 is, and right to the saturated vapor line. And then from there, the pressure increases to 600 kPa. So that's why it goes up to here and becomes now of just a superheated vapor because of the f because of the increase in the pressure. With the TV diagram, what it shows here is what happens to the water in between points 1, 2, and 3. So at 1, it is underneath the curve, which means it's a saturated mixture, and but it is closer to being a saturated vapor. At point 2, it is completely a saturated vapor, and then at point 3, it is superheated vapor.